Catholic moms, it's really important that we do not hide our shame. I'm Sterling Jaquith, a Catholic mom life coach, and here's the thing about shame. When it is kept in the darkness, it grows, it festers, it weighs us down. It's like a, a heavy pit in our stomach. And what we want to do instead is we want to shine a light on our shame. We want to bring it into the light. And there are many ways that we can do that. Okay? Gone are the days of public confession. I'm very thankful for that. Okay? But still, there is private confession. The church has given us this beautiful gift, the sacrament of confession, and it is one of the ways to bring shame into the light. To take it and say, Lord, please forgive me for all of these things. And then when we bring it into the light, it does not have power over us. God's grace comes and cleans it up, right? It's like all of the dirt that's underneath your couch. And we don't clean under the couch very often. But confession is like lifting up the couch and cleaning it out. So much better. Another way is you can share your shame with your spouse, right? You can say, oh, honey, I'm just feeling a lot of shame. I'm feeling really ashamed about how much time I spend scrolling on my phone. And you can even preface it by saying, I just want to share this with you because I want to bring my shame into the light so that, you know, it doesn't fester inside of me. I just want you to witness what I'm thinking. And that will bring you relief. Having someone witness you talk about your shame will bring you relief, right? The devil wants to divide us. It wants us to feel alone, like no one is with us and no one will help us and that we are bad, bad people. And so bringing our shame into the light helps us to overcome that. And then you can bring your shame to the Lord in your prayer life. You don't have to wait for confession, right? I don't think, you know, all of our prayer life is a substitute for confession, but you can... You can bring it to the Lord immediately. And so bringing your shame into the light so it does not have power over you, that is so important. Do not let shame drag you down. We have all of the graces of our faith. God sent his only son into the world to die for your sins because he knew you would be sinful and so we just have to confess them, repent, and believe in the gospel. You can also share your shame with friends who you trust. Be careful who you share sensitive information with. You can also share it anonymously in a Facebook group. I've seen that. I've seen moms anonymously post things like, I can't stand my children. They make so much noise, and I just don't want to hang out with them. That's something as a mom that you would feel a lot of shame about believing, but inevitably when I see somebody, you know, kind of confess something online like that, there's so many people who are like, oh, I really struggle with that too. And now we're all bringing our shame into the light and it does not have as much power over us. Now we're also not saying it's okay, but we're saying, hey, those thoughts are pretty normal for a human. Those are pretty normal human thoughts. So I want to invite you to just think about what you're ashamed of and find a way to bring it into the light so it does not have a stronghold over you. And if this topic is interesting to you, I want you to come join us in Masters. We are talking about shame. We are unpacking it. And we are changing our self-identity as women who are made in the image and likeness of God. And when we truly believe that, then we can just shake off the shame, bring it to the Lord like dirt, and he just kind of cleans us and makes us clean again. And we don't have to carry it with us. Thank you so much for listening and have a blessed day. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Catholic Mom Mindset. To learn more about growing closer to the Holy Spirit, check out our free resources at madeforgreatness.co. Thank you so much for listening and have a blessed day.